And it does psychological games. Like, why? Why? Why is he why? intimidating her? Why is he doing this? There's no reason. He should just kill her. Because he can. we know that she. he can mimic her form. Mm-hmm. And we know he can mimic her voice. Mm-hmm. So what, what, what? he's just torturing for torture's sake. That's right. Just crazy. She, just, just, just making her afraid. Terrifying. No reason to do this. Absolutely terrifying. But I think I think she he would just kill Sarah Connor, and then he can he can he can form the Sarah Connor shape, and then emulate her voice, and go get John Connor. Gosh, yeah. In fact, tactically, because he because the T one thousand did not kill her, then she later comes back and shoots him in the back. That's right. And John Connor was completely fooled by the T one thousand being Sarah Connor. And the only reason he was not fooled is when the real Sarah Connor showed up, which should she should have been dead. That's right. Tactically That's unwise T one thousand. That's right. Maybe his computing power is diminished. Ah, because this is this the first like really like you fed up T one thousand. What do you mean? Like there are other is this the first point in the movie where we're like the T one thousand really did the worst like really fucked it up. Really should have just killed her and then emulate and then emulated her body. Were there, other, were there any other points in the movie where, where, where we thought that, hey, T-1000, you did the wrong thing? I guess weirdly taking the motorcycle up the stairs was weird, but I think this is the first time. That's like they like really st- strategically did the wrong thing. Did the wrong thing, yeah. So maybe the liquid nitrogen did affect his processing power. Hmm. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. That's a good, uh, good lesson for everyone to keep liquid nitrogen around. Yeah, just in case. <laughs>